Happy birthday, my dear gem stars. Welcome to the Gemini uh, forecast room scope for June 2016 with me. My name is Amanda. This month I'm going to be uh, using the a classic deck, uh, the Tarot Art Nouveau in conjunction with the runes. This deck is by Antonella Castelli. At least the artwork is. It's a beautiful deck. Um, and then I'm going to be pulling, as I always do, this reading will continue over on my Vimeo page. The link is below in the details section. I'm going to be pulling your spiritual counsel card, your spiritual guidance card from the Witchlings uh, deck and book set by Paulina Cassidy. It's an adorable uh, little deck. So be sure to jump over there after you watch this video um, to get your spiritual guidance for the month of June. Uh, generally they have been tying in to, uh, whatever the challenge or focus of the month will be. So if you need a little bit of additional guidance from spirit, that's where you need to go. Um, also wanted to mention now that we are halfway through the year, I can't believe it's June already, but here we are. Um, now can be a good time to rewatch, uh, the forecast for all of 2016 and kind of just kind of take stock, see where you're at. Um, and I will, if you just click the little I, the info button here in the video, I will include the link to uh, the corresponding uh, yearly overview for you, just so you can rewatch that, kind of uh, take a look. Um, next month, I will also be posting over on my Vimeo page um, a yearly a kind of mid-year check-in. So you can kind of, uh, we'll look at July. It'll be a reading for July through December of 2016. So just give you a heads up about that. But let's jump in here, Gemini, see which runes want to talk to you. For your birthday. See what they want to say. None are grabbing on yet. We'll all wait for the ones. With the ones that want to find my fingers to find my fingers. Here we go. Now, as always, do check out the video for your rising sign as well. That will also contain some additional messages for you. The only way to get um, clarity, though, really, and um, messages that are all about you is to schedule a private consultation with me. I do those on Skype. They are $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at roomscopes for you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U. You will also find that here in the video. Um, if you're on a computer below the video, just tap the little arrow. If you're on a mobile device to see all of that information. Uh, and certainly your birthday can be a good time to get a reading. Um, so definitely treat yourself if you've been uh, if you've been waiting because that's technically the start of your new year. So, Gemini, what do we got here? Just take a gander. Looks like a pretty good month for really for June. Um, what's coming up as the challenge is um, the Justice card. So. Uh, but I feel like those of you that have been, if this is in the most mundane sense, a legal case or any kind of legal proceedings, um, you know, divorces, settlements, anything like that, um, it does seem like these will be coming to an end. Um, now for many of you there may be some of you may just be consulting someone saying hey do i have a case or can i pursue this it doesn't have to even be a legal situation um it could be anything that you are like do i have any recourse for recouping you know uh this loss or do, is there any way that i can um you know balance out an unfair situation uh you know and and for Many of you, I mean, I am getting kind of, you may be disappointed by the response, but you will be putting it behind you by the end of June, no matter what. Um, you know, so those of you that are waiting on like a settlement offer, it could be maybe it's not the amount that you were asking for, or, um, you know, if it's, uh, you know, you were trying to find some recourse for settling an issue or balancing those scales out or bringing more balance to a situation. Um, you know, it, it, it may not be, uh, you may not be over the moon with the decision or you may not be over the moon with what a consultant tells you. Either way though, you're gonna be leaving it behind. And um, you know, this is also a very karmic card. So I, I feel like the message for many of you is, yeah, maybe you can't kind of maneuver things 
to uh, balance things out or make things more fair, but karma always takes care of it. We just have to wait for it. Um, you know, we want things to happen quickly, especially when we feel like we've been treated unfairly. We want that to be rectified as quickly as possible. And, um, you know, but there's always a reason that we're going through that. There's always a reason that we're dealing with that. Um, so karma is in play in June when it comes to any sort of balancing. This may also for, for some of you concern someone born under the sign of Libra because Libra is the sign associated with uh, the justice card. So, uh, that could be, um, uh, a Libra could be playing a part in this. Um, you know, and, and, and you may be disappointed in them if this is someone close to you. Some of you may be leaving a relationship, leaving behind a relationship with a Libra or, or, um, you know, just, uh, you're, you feel like maybe you're tired of being treated unfairly and you, you are leaving this relationship behind because the runes here are indicating disappointment by someone close to you but that you've done all you're supposed to do together. You're just gonna leave this behind and, and move on. Um, you know you know it's time. So you, maybe you're seeing the light that this is the way to get balance back to my life. This is the way to uh, rectify this situation. Or you know I've been so down in the dumps or, or, or disappointed about a situation because I keep dealing with this person or this person keeps making me feel this way or this situation keeps making me feel this way. So I'm gonna leave it behind. Um, but because this is coming up in the challenge, you know, that may be difficult to do. Uh, you know, you may be trying to figure out a way to do this. Um, but the help that's going to be available to you, let's jump to that situation here. We have the Empress in reverse, uh, in conjunction with some runes here that indicate, um, I feel like you will have support from, there may be people that you are a group, part of a group. So this could be family, friends, coworkers, where you are, um, you know, against a situation or against someone. It could be tying into to this uh, situation that the Justice card in these rooms were talking about. Um, like you're not going to be the only one that is opposed to this or you're not going to be the only one that is trying to affect an outcome trying to change things so i mean it's like you're not the only one that will feel that you are treated unfairly and i feel like you and everyone else who feels this way you're going to kind of be drawing on that you're going to kind of be drawing strength from the fact that okay we're kind of all in this boat together or you know we're all speaking out about this together so there's solidarity strength in numbers um i feel like for you in june um so and that's going to be a help to you now those of you that have felt if you felt like on the receiving end because again this reading is again general for so many people uh, so some of you, I'm getting specifically that you you have been feeling opposed by a group of people. You have been feeling like they have blocked you or stopped growth for you or, um, yeah, kind of tried to put obstacles in your way for new beginnings or just kind of like trying to thwart you is the word they're giving me, thwarted at every attempt. Uh, regarding a project, maybe regarding a promotion, regarding moving ahead, if this is a work situation or, um, you know, regarding something you're trying to do in your life, because this could be family that are just with negative talk or gossip or, um, that sort of thing, interfering in your business kind of thing. Um, you know, that has been, you know, you've been on the receiving end of that, that has actually been a help to you. I, if that's been going on, it's been a lesson pushing you to leave these relationships behind or at least distance yourself. But uh, Canis is a rune in the reverse, is a rune of the end of a, a relationship, the end of interaction, the end of uh, dealing with that person. Um, so yeah, if you have felt like, you know, even if it's more than one person, uh, if you have felt opposed or taken advantage of, or just like people are, you know, interfering in things they have no business interfering in, um, there may be one more resurgence of this in June and, and it's a help to you because it's going to get you to say, I am done with this nonsense. I'm out of here. I've learned my lesson. 
I've been as patient as I can be. And that's what I'm seeing, Gemini, if you are experienced experiencing this you have been as patient as you can be with these people you have given them more rope than they deserve and you're just over it you're tired of it um you know you're, you're sick of people sticking their nose where it doesn't belong talking about things they have no business talking about or that they don't even know about that's that's a big thing for someone out there and that may be a very specific message like you know you don't know the first thing about this so who are you to be talking about this um you know, you don't know this person. You don't know me. So who, you know, why are you talking about things that you have no knowledge of? That's sort of a feeling. So, um, but really with the Eight of Pentacles, and that's the reason I was feeling like for some of you, this could be a, a work situation um, involving job interviews, you know, this could be getting you to leave a work situation behind. And maybe it's not the work itself, but the people that you're dealing with. You you keep getting passed over uh, for jobs where you are the one that's qualified, you know, and they're giving they're giving these uh, accolades and rewards and promotions to people who don't have your experience, who don't have your uh, skills. Um, and, you know, completely ignoring you. Um, because this rune really kind of talks about kind of that uh, click kind of energy where there's a group that's been somewhere a long time and they're part of the group and they don't allow anyone else in. Um, kind of a, a mean girls, Heathers kind of vibe. Um, so, I, you know, that is just pushing you. If that, you know, if you're feeling that again in June or if, if it's maybe just been something that's always kind of been there in the background, but you're, you're sick of it in June. So you're going to start interviewing for other jobs. And June really looks to be a month where you can move up. If you can't, you know, um, some of you may get the promotion, you know. I mean, you may move up within a company, be interviewing uh, for that. Um, but I feel like many of you, the majority of you, may be uh, leaving a work situation um, because this is a a card of um, the eight of coins is a card of, um, you know, becoming the master. Uh, and, you know, you, you no longer have to settle for these mediocre positions. You're, you're moving up and uh, interviewing, talking to people, submitting job applications. Some of you may be also be taking like a certification or there may be, if you're starting a new job in June or looking to, there will be a training period where you're gonna be learning a lot and you're gonna do very well. If you're taking any sort of tests, any sort of finals in June or, um, yeah, taking the bar, uh, you know, anything like that, uh, it, you're going to do very well because you're going to put a lot of preparation into it. And, and a lot of the knowledge you already know. So many of you may be taking, retaking is a word I'm getting. Some of you may be retaking a, a test or retaking a course to qualify for something that you've taken before and maybe you didn't pass this time you will. So if you were questioning that, because again, you already have a lot of the knowledge. Um, this is an increase in pay. Um, you know, your, your past experience and your skill level have qualified you for this. There's also a, a, an element of newness with this. Um, so financial stability coming in in June, if May was a more difficult month, you're going to end June feeling a lot more positive, a lot more stable when it comes to finances. And those of you that have been kind of languishing in a job or position where you're not getting the recognition, you're not getting the accolades, you know, you're, you're going to start looking for, for a place that will, you know, pay you what you deserve and will, uh, you know, treat their employees in a um, just better or, you know, and where there's not maybe these, you know, those high school kind of, and I know that anytime people are, uh, you know, sometimes adults are more high schoolish than, uh, than even high schoolers, but uh, you never, you can never kind of escape that. But some companies, it's a little less prevalent. They tolerate it less, um, or it just doesn't, you know, especially if the people are older, um, you know, if there's just more maturity around. Um, and I feel like you're going to be moving out of a childish situation into uh, one that is more positive. 
Again, this does not have to be work, but those of you that this is a settlement, because this can be money coming back to you, uh, again, it may not be what you were hoping, but it will be enough to provide some stability. I feel like you'll be getting good counsel, good advice from anyone uh, with Ansu's here that you are talking to, whether it's a lawyer or a financial advisor or, or um, you know, an official of some sort who's giving you advice for this recourse of how to rectify whatever this situation was. Um, they're going to give you some really good advice about how to do that, how to manage your money, how to, um, you know, how to get back something, how to get a payout. So you can trust advisors uh, in the month of June, Gemini. I, I do feel like they will be giving you accurate information and advice, particularly when it comes to stability and financial things. Uh, now, what uh, must be accepted about the month of June. We've got the Seven of Cups or Seven of Chalices in this deck, uh, which is a beautiful uh, deck. And that is that there may be some confusion around because um, there, you have a lot of options available to you for how to go about this. It may be one of those situations, let's kind of go back to this where you're talking to or getting advice from an official or someone kind of uh, that you've gone to for help with a situation, maybe this situation, maybe you know, for some of you, something completely different. And they give you some, you know, okay, well you could do this or you could do this or you could do that. And you're, you, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed, uh, Gemini. And the key there is to get in touch with, you know, what's the option that you're most pulled to because there will be one. Um, you have to kind of take your head out of it, and that can be hard for air signs because you live in your head. You're a mental, your mental signs. That's your strengths, um, your analytical skills. That's where your strengths lie. So it can be difficult to turn that off and say, okay, well, which one am I more emotionally? What does my heart say? What sounded like the right thing? Like as soon as this person said it, what was the one that I kind of like, you know, made my eyes light up or kind of like, hmm, sounded most interesting. That's usually your intuition here. Uh, leading you to something. But I feel like whatever this decision is, you have time to kind of table it and, and wait a little bit. Don't rush into anything. I, I feel like you do have, uh, you know, some time here to decide. And, um, you know, this is uh, going to resolve a conflict. Um, now, for some of you, this may be someone dealing with health issues or maybe you are dealing with with some health issues. Um, you know, this this situation that you feel is unfair could also be related to health issues and, and you feeling just disappointed maybe that something has, you know, there's been a resurgence or something that you thought you'd taken care of or that you were done with had come back. But again, there, there are options uh, available. Um, and it just may be a matter of deciding which is best. So if, it, if it's not your health, it could be someone uh, close to you, mother, mother-in-law, someone connected to mom's side of the family. Um, and there are, you know, you, you, it may be just a matter of, okay, well, we have to try this and then rule it out. And then we'll, if that doesn't work, we'll try this, that sort of thing. The good news is there are options. So, um, but yeah, emotionally, you know, there may be something where, you, you know, there are so many options that you're feeling overwhelmed, but that's better than no options. I'd rather have that problem than, um, you know, no solution to the problem or, or no one offering any guidance. So, um, yeah, take your time to kind of consider that. And again, Gemini, really turn off your mind and kind of try to get in touch with uh, what feels right what feels best um you know for, for some of you it may just be resolving a conflict a family conflict or or um options for uh again rectifying an unfair situation but take the take the time out to uh, to consider uh and for uh the outcome of the month we've got the the six of swords so that's why i was saying that i feel like some of you are going to be leaving a job got a lot of, of uh, indications here of leaving something behind, uh, the Six of Swords, but also gayness. Um, so leaving behind a negative situation, um, leaving behind uh, a, a, a job that's not giving you recognition, passing you over. Uh, you know, I do feel like there's gonna be, for your birthday, reason to celebrate. I think there's good news coming. 
uh, for you, Gemini, when it comes to especially um, moving forward. I, if you've felt stuck, or if, and I feel like some of you have, if you, and the month may start off with that energy still kind of hanging around, those retrograde, retrograde planets that we had in May, but I mean, things are, things are, um, we have more moving forward. Uh, in June. So I think you're going to start to see that energy starting to dissipate. And definitely by the end of June, um, you're going to start to see, okay, finally, when once Mars turns direct, which I believe is at the end of June, things that have been held up are, can really kind of be out of the gate with a shot because Mars is just a very aggressive energy. And once it kind of gets going, it, things pick up really quickly. So um, and I think you're going to see that you've got a lot of protection around, uh, especially when it comes to being in the right place at the right time, just kind of fortuitous events, um, particularly when it comes to money or travel. Some of you may be taking a birthday little little jaunt uh, that could be because Six of Swords uh, can be travel. And maybe you are taking it because you know what this situation was, you know, really kind of drained my energy. I need to get out of here. I need to get away or I need to get away and think about how I want to tackle this problem or tackle this situation. I'm going to take a little holiday or take a, a, a little weekend away um, and take a break. And some of you may be going with uh, a, a love interest uh, because we've got uh, Ruz here. So there, it does seem to be for many of you. Now, this could be you uh, if you're a male Gemini. Um, but yeah, I feel like many of you may be just getting away with your honey. Um, you know, those of you that are single, um, seems like traveling while in transit. This doesn't have to be a trip. This could just be in your day to day travel. Uh, but yeah, this could be someone you're meeting kind of in transit on the train, on the bus, um, you know, just running errands or on a trip. So, because again, when, the, whenever this rune pops up, um, you know, it, it talks about a lot of luck being on your side of being in the right place at the right time to meet someone who can help you or, uh, you know, meeting someone who can help you advance or who's going to play a, an important role in your life. So um, either way, with this six of swords, big change as and moving into more positive phase, moving into calmer waters. Um, and leaving behind a situation that has caused heartache or disappointment. Um, there's not going to be any more of that. There's going to be advancement. And, um, you know, this may have been intensified with all these retrograde planets for some of you. And that may be, you know, as June kind of starts, that energy is lingering. But don't look for it to last past June. <coughs> excuse me, particularly when Mars turns direct. I think you're going to really notice a big jump, not only in your energy levels, but also in the advancement of things, um, advancement of things you've been working on or things that have been germinating, things you've been thinking about. Um, but that's what I see for June, Gemini. Happy birthday once again. Um, I am now going to, as I mentioned, pull your spiritual guidance uh, uh, card for June from the Witchlings book, uh, The Witchlings Deck, sorry, by Paulina Cassidy. And you can check that out over on Vimeo. Again, the link's below. So I hope to see you over there. Don't forget to rewatch your 2016 forecast to take stock and see what's yet to come. That can give you a good idea. And uh, I will see you again next month.